With four kids younger than three, including a pair of twins, Christina Wilder can be pretty patient. That was especially important during the nationwide formula shortage. I started noticing that their formula was more scarce on shelves right around maybe those four months old. But the real test came when the Kentucky mom finally tracked down several cans for her twins and tried to buy them, but couldn't use the government benefits she relies on to pay for them. And my jaw hit the floor and I almost got angry because like I can't find it nowhere else. Christina and millions of low-income families depend on the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants and Children, also called WIC. Participants get regular benefits to help them pay for specific healthy food. But our Newsy investigation found the benefits are becoming more difficult to use in certain parts of the country. Certain brick and mortar stores and in the last few years, farmers markets approved by the state government can accept benefits, but they can't be used online. And our investigation found between 2011 and 2020, the number of approved stores declined nationally by about 16%. And more than half of counties lost at least one WIC approved store. It's there, but it's out of reach. It hurt my feelings and it made me equally as upset because these are my kids. Moms in several states told us it's a big burden if you don't live near one of those stores, especially when there's a food shortage and it doesn't carry the product you need. But, like, I can't go on the Walmart app and get some cans of formula and check out with my WIC card. And I cannot find it at any location near me. Our exclusive Newsy data analysis found the store decline disproportionately affects rural communities, which are more likely to have more than one in four women living in poverty. Counties like this are especially common in Kentucky, where Christina lives. It turns out the county with the greatest decline by percentage of stores like these affecting women in poverty is actually just a couple of hours away. So we're headed there to see if we can figure out why. I think the main decrease with stores here is mainly because of economic hardship. As far as like a lot of our stores are just mom and pop. Whitney Bingham coordinates the WIC program in Estill County, Kentucky, and says government-approved stores dwindled from eight to one over the last decade, in part because some went out of business. There are um, quite a bit of regulations that they have to follow, certain foods and products that they have to carry. A Newsy survey of 18 states that each lost more than 100 stores found other stores violated program rules and some struggled with required technology upgrades or a reduced number of shoppers. Nationally, the number of people participating in the WIC program went down 31% in a 10-year span. No. This is where WIC would be, yeah. WIC stuff would be, okay. This is all the WIC stuff. Okay. And some stores, like the one Kartik Aryan helps run in Estill County, Kentucky, had a change of ownership. That shift kicked the store out of the program. New owners must file new paperwork and agree to the program's specific terms. Aryan says his family's store has been going through the application process for about a year. You didn't peel these off because no. you thought it would yeah. happen pretty quickly? Yeah. Pretty quickly, <laughs> exactly. And then what happened? Not get yet, so still waiting for the week. The United States Department of Agriculture oversees the state-run WIC program and agreed to an on-camera interview with Newsy, then canceled and would not reschedule. But a spokesperson did respond to some of our questions, saying their goal is to modernize the program over the next several years. We also learned after we started inquiring about the program, the USDA sent out this letter asking states to assess and adjust their policies to ensure adequate participant access. The government also developed a task force in 2021 to explore online shopping. Currently, moms like Christina are not able to use benefits online. Hang on, bub. Don't take hers. Don't take it. There was multiple times that I could find the formula on Amazon if you could use your WIC online. Yeah. That would be a game changer. America should do better. Because these are babies. To talk to us more about that story and the investigation findings, we're bringing in national investigative correspondent, Lori Jane Gleha. 
Um, Lori Jane, I feel like after watching this, I have so many more questions about the WIC program and how it works. Uh, part of your story highlighted how even if some moms find their products online, they can't use their WIC benefits. Um, why is that? And what are states or other concerned parties doing to change that? Right. It's kind of unbelievable. We're here in 2022 and these WIC benefits can't be used online. But the federal government did bring in some money last year, some grant funding for the states to try and modernize this program. They gave money to some of these states. We reached out to them. Washington and Massachusetts teamed up with Walmart to try and get this online program going. But they ended up with some challenges because this isn't a program where you get an allotment of money to spend. It's really you get allotment of food. And so there were some technological challenges. Washington said they have been trying to get this online, but they haven't been able to do that successfully yet at, at last check. And they thought that maybe it could be Christian until 2024 when this might actually get up and running. Wow, it's going to take some time. Um, you found that WIC approved stores declined along with WIC participation. Are there any places where there were increases in WIC approved stores? Yes. Yeah, so when doing our data analysis, we really found the story was in the counties. Some of the states are so diverse with rural and urban areas that the counties were the ones that were really telling the stories. We saw some states that had an increase in stores while also having a decrease uh, depending on the county. So actually 13% of counties saw an increase in stores and we reached out to those areas to see what that was attributed to. Some of these places said it was because of an increase in population that people had actually moved to the area. More stores were then applying to become WIC approved. Uh, some states in those areas had also streamlined their process. So there were fewer restrictions for how a state could apply to become WIC approved and then become authorized. And another one of the things that was attributed to an increase is that some big corporate chain stores had come in and opened stores, making those more accessible. I'm curious to know, where do you think stand now for moms looking to get their hands on baby formula through the WIC program? Uh, you know, what's the reality of the problem for them? Right. It's still very difficult for so many moms across the country. This formula shortage uh, is not yet resolved and the WIC benefit, the decline in stores is actually magnified uh, with this formula issue. One of the moms in our story told us that she was actually rationing her formula when she actually found it on the shelf because of this. These moms can't just go open an app on their phone, order something on Amazon and have it delivered. And, and actually they're competing against people who are not relying on WIC benefits. So if it's at the store and someone, you know, there's already a shortage and someone comes in looking for the same product, it's, it's more difficult for the people who are relying on the WIC benefits. And it's, we're really not sure when this whole thing is gonna be resolved. National investigative correspondent, Lori Jane Gleha. Uh, Lori Jane, thank you so much for your time and for your reporting on this really, really, really important story. We appreciate you.